Hey, them boys say bench press is overrated. You can't build a big chest with bench press. <laughs> you lying to me. Bench press is the king of chest movements, baby. Y'all better quit playing. Look at that chest. Don't skip the compound movements. Get to it, man. Scared money don't make no money. Let's go. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, TakeOver, checking in again. We back with another video, man. Y'all see where we at? We in that dog house. It's been a minute since I did a video like this. I got the gym to myself, so we gonna rock out. As you can see, we got that bench back there, man. Today finna be a bench only day. Like I say, I'm getting ready for a powerlifting meet, so I'm gonna take y'all along the way with me. I'm gonna show y'all how I train to get ready for powerlifting meets, bodybuilding competitions, how I just train on the regular. It's pretty much the same. I'm not one of those guys who change up my style of training for an event. I don't do the traditional style of training. You know what I'm saying? It's just a regular day in the gym for me when we go compete on the platform. But today gonna be a bench only day. I'm gonna just smash bench and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna hit at least 100 reps. That's the goal. 100 reps at least, not including my warm up sets. 100 reps working sets. So just stay, just stay tuned, man. We finna get busy. I'm gonna see what I can work up to today. I don't have no spot, so I can't really push it how I wanna push it. But it's all good. Long as we making progress from last week, we in the game. So stay tuned. Let's get out there. All right, guys, so today we're gonna to do a bench progression video. I'm gonna show you guys how I pyramid up to, to a top set, do about three or four sets with the heavy weight, and then pyramid back down to a lighter weight. In case you missed the announcement or you're new to the channel, I am currently preparing for a powerlifting meet. Unlike most powerlifters, I don't do sets of one rep, three rep, five reps. I don't take long extended breaks throughout my sets and things like that. When I train, whether I'm getting ready for a bodybuilding show or powerlifting meet or just enjoying training, I always want to do is lift as much as I can for as many reps as I can. Got some deep dish 45s, man. Make it hard for yourself. I like to challenge myself day in and day out while building my strength, building my physique, and my endurance at the same time. You wanna look good, you wanna feel good, and you wanna be strong. That's why I don't consider myself a bodybuilder nor a power lifter. I consider myself a power builder, which is a combination of power lifting training and bodybuilder training mixed together. Like I always tell people, I didn't start working out to be a bodybuilder nor did I start working out to be a power lifter. When I began working out, I didn't know what bodybuilding or power lifting was. I began at the age. Well, I, I got my first weight set at 13, my first real weight set at 13. But beforehand, I was using resistance bands. My mom had like the little aerobic weights and things like that, the weights where you can add and subtract the weights. We used to use those as kids before we even knew what competing was. I always wanted to be strong and I always wanted to be swole. I used to watch wrestling. I grew up playing sports. So that's why my training method is a lot different from most bodybuilders and powerlifters because most guys who bodybuild and powerlift began to do so when social media became a thing. So they learned their training from social media. I learned my training from OGs in a gym and in a neighborhood who worked out before information was, before the internet was even a thing. So a lot of a lot of ways of training, like my style of training, a lot of people are frown are frowned upon and say that it's incorrect or it's not optimal or it's overtraining or whatever. You know, it's just pussyfied. If you ask me, the internet made people pussyfied. No one can tell you what's overtraining for you. You have to put it in the work, put it in the time, get in the weight room, and see how your body responds to the training. See if you're getting stronger from it or if your body is not recovering for it, from it. Or don't stop. If you if you can do three reps, but your program only say do one rep, I'm going for the three reps, bro. I'm not stopping at one rep if I got more in the tank. Look at it like this. 
Each rep is cash in the bank. Why not run it up? Why not push yourself to the limit? Why let somebody else set your limitations? Like, I understand, oh, you got, you got a peak and all that old crap that people like to say, bro, this is my method. If I want to hit a certain amount of weight in a gym, I mean, in a powerlifter meet, I'm going to work my way up to that weight in the gym. I'm going to, I'm going to make that weight my bitch. I'm going to get familiar with that weight. I'm going to be able to rep that weight. My goal is to be able to rep the weight that I want to hit in a powerlifter meet. Don't wait till you get to a powerlifter meet and then want to max out with some weight that you never hit. Now, if you're going to break a record, like, you know, when you break a record and they give you the fourth attempt to set the record, that's different. But if you're going in with numbers already in your head, you should make those numbers your bitch in the gym. Like, straight up. Most people who I see who power lift on an amateur level, they wait to the power lift to me to try to max out, and they, they fail. Get familiar with the weight, bro. Like I say, I understand all the scientific ways that people are creating nowadays or saying that it's more optimal or efficient. But my thing is, I'm sticking to the old school way, bro. Before all this... So, like, if you pay attention, society is getting weaker and weaker. They're trying to find a way to make everything weaker and weaker. And dudes are falling for it, bro. I'm not falling for it. Push yourself to the limit. You only get one life. Why not push it to the limit? Why not live it to the limit, bro? If you want to be great, if you want to be the best version of yourself, you have to learn yourself. You have to push yourself. And if you have training partners... You also have to be careful with picking your training partners. Your training partners should have the same mindset and motives as you do. If not the exact same, they should be similar. You can't have that dog mentality, that go and get it mentality, that push it to the limit mentality, and have a training partner who timid, who's soft and weak mentally, who's scared to push themselves, who always got excuses that's lazy, who's not determined to achieve their goals, it's not going to work, bro. That's not good chemistry. You go, you want to have a training partner to where you can have fun when you train it. I mean, if that's, 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 that's how I, that's how I think my training partners who I train with, we have fun when we train it. We laugh and we joke when we train it. I don't want to be around dudes that's taking it too serious. Cause at the end of the day, we doing this because we love it and we enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? When you having fun with it, that's that's what's most important. Dudes who take it too serious, who be all uptight, and you know what I'm saying. You see, we talk that yak in our videos. We have fun, we laughing, we kicking and having a good time while achieving our goals. The goal is to have fun, get swole, and out of control. So we just hit, I don't know how many sets, but that's the way I like to train. I like to start with a lightweight, pyramid my way up to a heavy set. I would have probably went for a set of three or one, but like I said, I didn't have a spot. You want to keep your breaks as short as possible. Just because you lifting for strength don't mean you have to take long breaks. Look at that. I did all those sets and all those reps. Let's see if the camera focus. So y'all see I ain't jiving. All right, I ain't gonna focus. But anyway, it's a like four minute, 44 minutes. Hey, come on, there you go. 44 minutes and 30 seconds. I had all them sets. I don't even know how many sets I did. Like I said, I want to do 10 sets minimum. So, hey, that's the way you pyramid up and pyramid back down. That way you are working on strength, endurance and building muscle you want to be multifaceted you don't want to be one dimensional you want to look good and be able to move big weight while looking good but i hope y'all enjoyed this video until next time we checking out i did say i was just going to do bench press but tomorrow my rest day and i'm feeling kind of good so i might throw a little shoulders in 
nothing too much, just a few seconds. I don't know, I'm gonna see how I feel. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Till next time, we checking out. Peace.